Is everything okay? Ah! We have too many jugs. Too many jugs. An egregious amount of jugs. Why so many jugs? Apparently we're never here when the jug guy comes to take jugs away, so they never take jugs away. Mm. Okay, listen. Jugs cause we got too many jugs don't mean we can't get juggy with it. Are, Are you, you talking, talking about? about? Yep. Jugs water yes. jug cinema time. He's talking about water jug cinema time, Lee. That's cool, if we have time for mine. And we'll be right back. everyone and welcome back to another beautiful episode of your show uh just as a really quick reminder we are trying to get to 5,000 patreons wait, patrons. patrons i'm sorry i'm just distracted fumbles over there is f***ing ruining everything okay guys welcome to your show we're very excited we're trying to get to 5,000 patrons uh, for a multitude of reasons. One, so we can bring you wonderful content, so we can continue going on this beautiful journey. Uh, also, so Elliot can dye his hair that will be chosen, the color will be chosen by you. It's the reason it's a um, long shot. It is a long <laughs> shot. But I- I care about my hair so much. A lot. I know, and he's, you know Elliot and his man, and he like, like, how beautiful would it be if you could fully just be like, you're getting leopard print hair? <laughs> what if they vote on- Bright pink? Add a dash of pepper. Oh, I would yeah. love a dash of pepper. Would you just put pepper in his hair? Like salt, no, salt oh, and pepper hair. No, no, not pepper in his hair. That's insane. Hair turns well, pepper's the black gray. part of the salt and pepper hair. You know what? You're right. I quit. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so the the real goal we're trying to get to, the, the stay goal is is like the, the main stay would be 4,500 because we've done some math. And uh, we're trying to up that so that we can create better content, as Steve has said in previous episodes. But on the off chance that you guys go insane, yeah. it would be up to you guys. Any color you want, uh, <gasps> I will dye my hair. We'll film it, and it'll be a Patreon exclusive. Ooh. It'll be only for you guys. Oh, and, my God. Uh, that would be such a and dream. And you get to see that, and everyone else. And then we, also, then we don't film any more content until his hair Natural Naturally. hair uh -huh. is back. Yeah, Steve did shaving. just also pitch if we get to 10,000, yeah. which is an impossibility, he's going to shave both his <laughs> I head. I will shave my beard. head and my beard, and I will go. I will be Varys for Halloween just a that year. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Dowhanuick asks, would you rather have a giant toenail as a tongue oh, yeah. or a bunch of toenail-sized tongues on your toes? A bunch of toenail-sized tongues. <laughs> Can you taste from them? Let's assume you no, still have taste. It's a toenail. Well, that's a, a big no. assumption. I mean, I guess it's. I guess your life would be ruined if you ruined. had a toenail tongue. Exactly. Well, you I think your talk, life would be ruined you, if you had hard. no it wouldn't. tongues on no, your you toes. No, you could just wear some sort of medical device over your toes that would yep. probably keep it from being dangerous. You can dangerous taste and, all your dirty. What if they're sweat? not? If you have like mm -hmm. a medical, that would be gross. But not as what if? Yeah, toenail. what if they're functioning toe, like tongues on your toe, like they move. And yes, it's like, gross. Oh. But it's not as bad as a oh. toenail as a tongue. Yeah, toe well, how many toes? Disgusting. How many tongues are we talking on each toe? Like we got like it's a six. Or I think seven. it's tongue per toe. No, he said tongues. tiny tongue. It's tongue per toe. Where once tongues. there was a tongue, so now there is a walking toe. Walking would be really Where hard. You don't realize toenail. how much you put your toes up. Think how many shoes. people you could pleasure, though. Oh, f Joe. Ten tongues. For I think ten people. A friend of Joe's, his name's John Payne, he makes these incredible like acrylic sculptures. Uh, sculptures. Yeah, they're, they'll mix like teeth, he calls toenails, them fleshlets. and he, yeah, it's fleshlets. Like fleshlets. And he combines, fleshlets. it's fleshlets? so strange yeah. and cool. He and takes weird. like three, two to three to four just random body parts and then just mm -hmm. yeah. mashes them it's together. Like, can I suggest a name so change? Cool. Fleshlings, because fleshlets sounds way too close to fleshlights. Mm -hmm. like well, they're all time. also fleshlights. Oh, yeah. well then keep the name. <laughs> They're these They're mounds of disgusting flesh and you'll have toenails yeah. and big toes yeah, coming out next to nipples. But then if you see the hairs, this is a fun little fact about his artistic process, you'll see like tufts of hair uh -huh. in random folds. Yeah, it's so weird. Those are his hair. Cool. Like he'll go. Dude, it's cool. And he it's... puts them in it. It's great. Dude, people love them. Yeah. And he'll, it's and, yeah. and if you email him and go, I want, uh, I want one with a, uh, uh, a labia, um, uh, a knee, and, and teeth, and he'll make it, and yeah. he'll customize he'll it to you. He'll make anything. And they're all, they all have just very common female names. What's cool about So there's like you? Jane Diane. and oh, Jenny. Oh, oh, I love <laughs> that. to all to my love friend. J 
gentlemen, welcome to Fight Jug. The first rule of Fight Jug is you do not talk about Fight Jug. The second rule of Fight Jug is you do not talk about Fight Jug. Is it that go, Jug? Clever jug. I'm Kylo! I'm Ray! I'm Kylo! I'm Ray! I'm Kylo! We sure are some Star Wars. Yeah, Joe, I don't think this one works. Water, I hunger for no. your no. No, job. I wish I knew how to sip you. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not. Oh, hi, Jug. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Haynes says, <laughs> Love you all. Can't wait to hear the shenanigans that have been happening once they oh. get announced, of course. Oh, once they can be announced. An announcement of a snack shenanigan. I would love to know, what is a daily or habitual task you do that if you skipped or forgot about would ruin your day? Deodorant, shower. Oh, yeah. My pills, my medication. Pills, um, I have like a yeah, six deodorant ruins step day. face deodorant. care routine. Yeah, really? That would ruin yeah. your day? Face care routine? Yeah, it would you ruin my day. You do not. Jesus. Oh, I do. Do you want to hear it? How long does it take? Not long. I've gotten it down to like five minutes. We're ready. What do you okay. do? I wash my face, face with a cleanser. I put on a wipe down with a toner. I use a facial radiance pad that I do uh, to get rid of these uh, dark spots that are coming up habitually. Then I will put on a dry cannabis oat oil. Uh, it's a serum. And then I'll let that to sit. I'll brush my teeth. I'll come back. I'll put on my eye cream. And then I'll put on my moisturizer. Let's cut to a clip. Oh, ah, welcome to the other side of the jump cut. Steve got a call from his landlord and he's gotta go do some grown-up stuff. But now I present to my friends and all of you at home my facial scrubbing routine because Lee was so nice to share hers that I think it's okay to share mine. This is 100% truth. There is no hyperbole. Here we are. <clears throat> I'll do it through the art of mine. Oh, the art of mine. Except for the beginning part, because like, well, I'm gonna grab a loofah. angle for me. Yeah, I don't do that. I wait till the water is hot before I step I wait till the water is hot before I step in too. That's <clears> insane. To I go in wait. and just cold it out. A lot of people do that. It's so weird. Well, uh, mimes would never want that. You put just soap on it. then, Kyla? Do you oh, loofah you your face? I'll be so sad if you loofah your face. Do not loofah your face. It's too hard. Oh. It's way too hard <clears> for your face. You need to not do it. I mean, isn't that the best yeah, part? Yeah, that makes sense, that I guess. Right you, in, huh? just, wow. you wash your legs? That was a big Twitter thing. Oh. Not that I love, I don't love that. 
Especially a back and forth on it. That's a you're mixing a lot of things. Yeah, I wouldn't do that order, but I would never do that. Or also, why are we lifting? That would no, uh, you don't do the balls in the face. Do you balls face? You don't do balls. You don't balls your face. Everyone knows you don't do balls. Like you're being ridiculous. And I'm pissed that you haven't got your butt. At all. You rinse out your mouth. This is such a short shower. Everyone windmills. It's fine. That one, that's the do most you annoying. windmill? You have to. Yeah, otherwise, how do you get dry? I guess I just don't have anything to windmill. Exactly. So. I feel like the asshole now. G can I ask you a question, Elliot? <laughs> 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 the art of mime! Showers are so the long. art of mime! Abby Toy says, what should my best friend and I get as matching tattoos this week? Oh! You both get whatever tattoos you want. In the match is the fact that you did it together in the memories. Oh, that's the so cute. No, you're going to get a B, F, she's going to get an F. When we say matching, is it like when we put our tattoos together, it's the actual oh, tattoo? I don't or know, is maybe. it the same tattoo on nah. both of them? You're going to get a dolphin. And you're going to get a dolphin and a wave underneath it, jumping over your butt crack. Only if one of you yeah. is Lisa and the other one is Frank. <sighs> Tattoos are so inherently personal that I feel yeah. like if you were to suggest anything, this is just me, if you were to suggest anything to me, I wouldn't do it. Like, I think you have to but come up I, with the idea yourself. Maybe something yourself. like a heart, like an outline of a heart. Or I think what you do is you spend some time together, you like go out, you enjoy a night of drinks, you enjoy a night of like taking a walk in a park, yeah. and then you like sort of let your brain rest and then whatever pops into your head, maybe that's what you go with. But it has to, be your, it has to be your creation. I've got oh. it. Oh, Joe has. Well, forget everything I just Sorry, said. Joe, Joe has, has what you're going to do. You're going to get a kangaroo. You're both going to oh. get a kangaroo. Weird. But not just any kangaroo. Oh, okay. You're going to get a kangaroo that's pulling out its little pouch, right? And popping out of that pouch is another kangaroo. A baby kangaroo? No, full grown kangaroo popping out of that other pouch. It's a metaphor for the fact that deep inside you, there's always another kangaroo that's very similar but different, waiting to come out. Did you have this in your head? This is, yeah, you this knew is what you were gonna say out. before? Yeah. You know, yeah. there's plotters and there's pantsers. I didn't. And Made it up on the boy, fly. was that a pantsing situation. I do like the idea of a kangaroo opening its pouch and it's just the face of your friend. And you each get each other's faces. And I don't think that, we, I don't think there's that's a, even a world in which you would ever weird. That. Uh, Who is it? Kanga who is it? Uh, my best friend. <laughs> Kanga who? <laughs> uh, Jennifer. Yeah, so. Uh, go just like a little heart? Guys, we're Steve would be joining us here, but he uh, he's going through a thing with his landlord and he's stressed out. Yeah, there's so. a lot of a lot of calling. He had to go. He had to so go. we're it trying was like to like a whole thing. We're just trying to make it all happen. Yeah, but it's a perfect opportunity. Oh my god, get a tattoo of Steve for me to sit in Steve's spot for the first time. And oh see how wow! That feels. Oh. It's also Steve's the only one with tattoos among the three of us, right? Uh, like all three of us don't. Oh no, have, I have a I have I my pants. Yeah, that makes sense. It happens. This is the spot. Do you know how many tattoos? You have tattoos? Uh-huh. Where's a loofah when you need it? Wait, so how often do you have to permit? Yeah, like every four to six weeks or something. Wow, good for you. Thank you. <gasps> oh no! What happened to all the jugs? Joe, he came, he picked up all the bottles. Look, if you go now, you can catch him. Go now! If you can, if you go now, you can. You, but you have you have to go now. Now go, Joe. Joe, go. Now go get him. <laughs> I'd like a grilled cheese and tomato. Go now. <laughs>
Wow, he has notes? He's gonna look at notes? Yeah, this you, is gonna be cool. If you can gonna, read notes. Wait, are you gonna read notes? I'll treat you guys to me trying to play. How about that? Welcome to the Hall of the Mountain King. Let me warm up. I have never said this about you, but that was like one of the cutest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I sounded like a that I was so like a pure. Really that just cute. played his trumpet Wait, for the first but time. you can play you can play that and read music. Yeah. If you gave me a month, I think I could be okay at it. We can give you a month. Yeah. yeah. What the f man? Yeah. All right. Guys, if Don't let a skill like that go away. Pages. I know. I'm really sad about it. Yeah. That. Four episodes from now, we'll Joe know will what that is when we when we post this. <laughs> Four episodes from now, Joe is gonna perform his solo. Only if we get 5,000. <laughs> Only if we get 5,000. I will ratings. play that song on my trumpet while Elliot is getting his hair dyed oh, and Steve wow. is getting his head shaved. Well, that's for 10,000. Well, if we get 10,000. But I'll be there if, you get, if we get 5,000. I'm yeah, drunk. I'll be here. I'll, I'll check my schedule. I'll check my calendar. And I appreciate that transparency. Thank you. I will do as much as I can, yeah. yeah. But you know, well, things happen. Like, 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 it's just not stuff. Yeah. It's not stuff. Yeah, and I, and I would hope that I would I would receive respect lesson. from my coworkers. I think if you I would. Coming at you hard from Ashley Kubachka, who says, Hello, Valley folk. Uh, my, uh. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, don't do it again. You're not going to do it. Not on the couch, not on camera. <clears throat> Hello, Valley folk. My question is if you could go back in time 10 years ago, what one piece of advice would you give your younger self? I would give myself advice on how to navigate the ever-changing world of like online video and yeah. YouTube a little bit better. Nobody knows what they're doing. No. Yeah, but that's also financial. So I don't know, um, love yourself more. Yeah, love yeah yourself I feel more like that would be one. my biggest thing. As a woman, I was so hard on myself and I want to just be like, no one cares and no one did care. And also like, you know, none of it mattered. Show your titties more. Um, I would say that too. I would go back to myself and I would say, show your titties more. Thank you. I would say that the one piece of advice I would give to myself 10 years ago is it would be like, if, especially if it was me, I would be like, hey, I know what you're doing, and you know what you're doing, and Do don't, it. just stop. Do it better. Yeah. When you hear the whole like, I love yourself thing, and it sounds cliche, yeah. and it sounds like everybody says it, and it's like, yes, I've heard it over and over again. But the reason why it is is because it's a piece of important information that people wouldn't be repeating over and over and over again if there wasn't some truth to it, you know? Like, yeah. No, it's the truth. Yeah. It really, yeah, it's very, very true. I think love yourself is is difficult because most people don't know themselves. I yeah. didn't know myself 10 years ago, so to tell me to love myself would be like, I don't know who this person is, yeah, what do I, mean, I want? Yeah. From? But I wouldn't just go to myself and be like, love yourself and then disappear. I'd be like, love yourself. And what that means is, is that take dan, care dan, of yourself. Dan, dan, yeah. Yeah, take care see, of your body, do this, like, do that. I, yeah. I, remember, I, was, I think that around that time I was in a very like mediocre, bad relationship, and I think that would that love yourself from me would have been like oh get out of that would have okay. honestly done though and this is the truth I would have gone back and I would have told myself hey um, you're gonna think that it doesn't matter that you don't have car insurance but it 100% does and you're gonna pull out of your driveway at about 10 miles per hour and someone's gonna come flying down that alleyway and you're gonna hit that car and you're gonna have to pay $5,000 oh, yeah. of your savings out of pocket because you don't have car insurance and it was 100% that man's fault but it doesn't matter. Then why would your ten year ago self just be like, go tell that person not to fly down that street? Yeah, save he, everybody. I don't think he was good. I don't think he'd listen. I don't think he'd listen. It's one hundred percent. Just pay your stupid car insurance, you dumb, dumb child. Yeah, well, definitely, definitely that. That's dangerous. Yeah. yeah. That's no, I know. It was dangerous. a lesson I learned. It's also illegal. Maybe you needed that lesson. Though. I know. I wouldn't. I yeah. I, I would go. I would change. Oh, your and then love yourself. Thanks, everybody. This has been really fun. Thank you for joining us for your show. Wow! Uh, we're trying to hit 4,500 patrons. If you help, that would be super appreciated. If we get to 5,000, I'll dye my hair. And if we get to 10,000, Steve will just go crazy and it'll be super fun. Uh, but yeah, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you. We appreciate your eyeballs and your we input, your comments. You. And we read them and we, we love you and thank you. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's you're wonderful and we, we thank you. Greg?
Terry. Thank you, Greg. Jacob, Diane, Carol, Tammy, Amy, Brianna, Graben. Are you naming Paul, John's fleshlets? Bob, Graben, yeah. Mama. <laughs> Sounds like fleshlights. Yeah. <laughs> not know that I'd be learning how to play the trumpet today, but you just got to say yes to life. It's <laughs> such a, a solo. I think my embouchure is getting butter. <laughs> Our neighbors hate us. I love you. I love you so much.